Hey guys, so today's gonna be a pretty quick video, um, just because it was like a thought that I had, and I was wearing this watermelon shirt, and I was like, yeah, I should do this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put watermelons on our eyeballs and on our lips. Now, there's a couple of things that I wish I did differently, and one of them being the watermelon on my lips I should have done upside down than the way that I do it, and then the other thing is um, the way I did the watermelons on the eyeballs. I wish I had like water-based um, skin, or not skin paint, what the heck do you call it? <laughs> water-based body paint, and I don't, so it kind of came out a little wonky. So um, maybe sometime in the future when I get some body paints, I will redo this look, and hopefully it'll look a little bit better than what it turns out. I mean, I like it still. I think it's still cute. But at the same time, I think I could have done it better. Um, so for the most part, I just used some red from, well, this is the Morphe palette. So I use the reds in the Morphe palette. I also take some of the pink in the electric palette and um, put that in so it's not a deep red. Because most watermelon isn't just red, it's like a pinky red and, you know, it's, it's a different color red. And then I also take the electric palette and I use, which I'm showing you here, the greens, which I can't point to. Oh no, that's the pinks. Sorry. But the greens, I have trouble pointing to. You'll see that. Oh, and I just scratched my nose. Don't mind that. Whenever I do makeups, for some reason, my nose gets so itchy. It's like, it's like weird. I start, I start using things on my eyeballs and then my nose is like, here, scratch. So I'm like, okay, I'll scratch it. And then I'm like, oh, I have to edit all these out because it looks like I'm picking my nose, but really I'm just scratching it. Oh, here I am trying to point out the greens like a doof. Look at that. But those are the greens from the electric palette and I just use those combined together and I use that as the rind. And I'm also using the leftover red to kind of try to, you know, take the green off the red because I was kind of sloppy with this. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to retake that white eyeliner, that's the Inkwell Eyeliner by Kat Von D. It's in the color Whiteout, and hey, I'm getting better paying attention to where my face is on the camera, and I just moved it down, look at me. Professional, or something. <laughs> so I'm just doing the white part, the rind, the white part of the rind, watermelon, whatever part of it, I don't, I don't, what is considered the peel, the rind, is that considered the rind? Instead of the peel. No, the outside is considered the peel. Okay, that's the rind. We're gonna go with that. And then after I done, I'm done doing that, I'm gonna fix it up just a little bit because it's very hard to get perfect lines with that. Um, and then I'm going to take a black eyeliner and I'm going to do the seeds on my eyeballs. and everything done. So there's the watermelons on my eyeballs. Maybe next time I'll bring it up farther. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I should do differently. I think there's definitely a better way to approach it and I just... I don't know. Uh, now I'm taking the red lips, lipstick and doing the watermelon on my lips. This is where I should have reversed it and made like my cupid's bow look like a bite taken out of it which would have been smarter but you know happens and now i'm taking green lipstick i think that one's by maybelline and then i'll use the same uh white eyeliner on my lips i know you're not supposed to do that but you know i work with what i have maybe next time i should do a white and green eyeliner and red above it with the seeds that might have looked a little bit better Maybe I'll redo this look, because now that I'm looking at it and actually thinking about it, I'm kind of making more sense out of it. Well, you know, it happens. Now I'm going to put the seeds on the lips. And this is finishing up, and it's pretty much done. So, I hope you enjoyed this very short video. It was very you know, short, summer's inspired, the shirt inspired, you know, I liked it for the most part. I think it can be changed, um, and I'm not saying this stuff just to, you know, make myself, you know, not like my, my artsy stuff, but it's just for, you know, future reference. So I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!